taking a moment to talk new technology here at ASCO 2012. And joining us to do that is Dr. Elon Kerson. He is the Chief Science Officer and Head of Research and Development at Novacure. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you for having me. All the way from Israel, pretty long trip for you. Uh, not too bad, I'm used to it, do it all the time. Let's start by giving people a background on what the Novacure company is and what you do. Sure. So. Novacure is a company which is developing a completely novel treatment uh, to fight cancer. We consider ourselves the fourth modality in cancer treatment beyond surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. So we're the fourth and we're an electric field based therapy. Uh, the therapy is called TT fields or tumor treating fields. And they are the brainchild of Professor Yoram Palti uh, who is a professor emeritus of the Technion Institute of Technology in Israel. Professor Palti spent most of his life uh, uh, studying the effects of electric fields on the human body. And when he retired, he actually set his mind to trying to see how he can use his expertise to find a therapy that will work in cancer. Uh, he hypothesized that intermediate frequency alternating electric fields, that's a bit complex, mm -hmm. but those are the TT fields, uh, could be a very powerful anti-mitotic therapy which would stop the replication of cancer cells. Fascinating to see someone who realizes you don't die when you hit retirement. And how has the response been to his brainchild? Well, it's been uh, initially a little bit hesitant because this is completely new. Right. Uh, but I think it's picking up a lot of momentum today. And actually, today we have our first FDA approval uh, for the treatment of patients with recurrent glioblastoma brain tumors. Okay, tell us a little bit more about that, because I know these are exciting times for you. Yeah, so the approval was based on a very large randomized phase three clinical trial, which was uh, run in 28 uh, different centers in the U.S. and Europe. Uh, based on the results of this trial, FDA concluded that our treatment uh, using a home use portable device, and I'll talk about it in a second, uh, has comparable efficacy to the existing first choice chemotherapy a physician would use in recurrent glioblastomas. So it has the same efficacy, but with many less side effects and with a better quality of life for the patients. Uh, the treatment itself is applied regionally to the body, so we place arrays uh, which are these stickers that the patient will stick on his shaved scalp, two on each side, one in front, one in back. And these set up the electric field within the brain. Uh, these arrays are connected to a portable home use device and the patients actually learn to live with this. They carry it around 24 seven, go to sleep with it. And the more they use it, the better. The more they use it, the more effective it is. The device itself, if you're not walking around, can be plugged into a standard wall power, and so it's uh, uh, relatively convenient if you're sitting watching TV or when you're asleep, you don't have to start replacing batteries. Um, and patients describe a very high quality of life with this treatment. So it has to be pretty tolerable if they have it with them 24-7. Yes, patients in the trial, in fact, used it on average 20 hours a day, which is spectacular. Um, and this is important because it is a physical modality. This is not a chemotherapy where you get an injection and then it keeps, stays in your body for a while and keeps working. With this treatment, you have to have it on continuously because if you turn it off, it stops working. So if you've got the data already to support what you're saying, what's the next big step for you? Just getting people in the industry to think differently or what exactly would it be? Well, it's a little bit of a paradigm shift. It's a bit of uh, a new concept. People need to get their minds around. It's not ancient. The company has existed only 12 years and so the research is 12 years old at most. Uh, and there's more to learn. And I think like anything new, there's some uh, adjustment people need to make to it. But we're getting very exciting responses from the community. The patients are asking for this the recurrent glioblastoma patients really want this therapy and we're in the midst of our uh, leadership site launch in the United States to make this available to patients throughout the country. Very good doctor. Where can people go to get more information? Well there are 19 centers uh, in the US that are uh, trained and certified in using our device 
and they can go to our website actually to get more information about the treatment. Uh, it's available at www.novottftherapy.com uh, and there's a list of the uh, certified centers and uh, where you can get this prescribed if the doctor thinks this is your appropriate treatment. Very good. Congratulations, doctor, on your, on your breakthrough, your approval, and uh, best of luck to you going forward helping patients. Thank you very much. Okay.